Alright guys, I am back with my Survivor Series Fantasy Match video. And this is the second time I'm trying to do this video. The first time I didn't write down any of my picks and it just ended up being a huge cluster. I kept forgetting who I was picking to be in the match. Uh, so I wrote down who I want to be in this Survivor Series match. Um, but I wanted to do this video after talking to Stops Copies Me 91 and he sent me a message months ago and he gave me his picks for who he would put in a traditional 5-on-5 five five Survivor Series match and I thought this would be a great idea for a video so I said hey do you care if I do a video on this and he said no go ahead um, so I wanted to make this and then I thought it would be fun because you guys could leave your fantasy Survivor Series match ideas in the comments um, but I'm gonna read his first and for the babyface side he's got Steve Austin from 1998 HBK from 97 Taker from 98, Savage from 88, and Sting from 97. For the heels, he has Hollywood Hogan from 97, Rock from 2003, Flair from 89, Triple H from 2000, and Andre the Giant from 1987. So those are some pretty good picks right there. Now, I was trying to think of a good group of guys for my babyface team that I would personally like to see. Um, I'm starting with the Ultimate Warrior. I would like to have Ultimate Warrior on the babyface side from obviously Warrior versus Hogan from WrestleMania. I mean, which other Warrior would you choose? I <laughs> mean, the rest of them suck. So really, you have to go with Ultimate Warrior from WrestleMania. All the rest of them, that's it's pointless. So Ultimate Warrior from that period would be a great way. I mean, he would run down the aisle and everything. It would be awesome. Um, so that would definitely be a good addition to the team. Steve Austin, I have to go with just any period in the Attitude Era, 97, 98, 99. Any time really is great with Steve Austin. And you have to put him in a match like this because Steve Austin is one of those guys that makes every match feel even more important. He's just one of those guys. And you can't really pick before the neck injury because he injured his neck in like 96 I think it was and he was really just getting started so you can't really go with Steve Austin before the neck injury so you're gonna have to go with some period in the Attitude Era Kurt Angle is just a phenomenal wrestler and I any time in his career would be fine with me. I really liked when he was first starting, but he was definitely more of a heel. So I'm going to just go with the babyface angle we saw later on. When he, I guess he was kind of doing the SmackDown show for a while. DDP is a guy I want to put on the team from WCW. I think it was 96, 97 maybe. He was having those hardcore matches with Raven. And the DDP I want on the team is the one who came out and would wrestle in blue jeans and the taped ribs. And that's just, it always sticks out in my mind. That was just an awesome era for DDP. DDP was a huge baby face. He was badass back then. And when he was fighting Raven in those hardcore matches, I love those matches. They were amazing. And he always came out with those blue jeans and taped ribs. So much so that I think he's actually wearing that outfit in the WCW versus NWO Revenge video game. I'm pretty sure that's an, his default outfit in that game. Um, so definitely got to go with DDP. And finally, you have to have a really big, a really big name guy to round out the team. And I'm gonna go with Hulkamania Hogan. And I just think that would be really cool to see him in there with Austin, with Warrior on the same team. And it would just be a really, it would just really add so much more to the match because he's another one of those guys that's just going to make it feel really important. And of course, I'm talking about Hogan from the 80s. Now, for the heel side, I have Psycho Sid. And I think this is 96, I think, maybe 97. Um, when Psycho Sid was feuding with Shawn Michaels, I thought he was just the scariest looking guy ever. 
I knew he would come out and he's shaking his head like that and he's doing that face. Damn, Sid was scary. So I definitely want him on the hillside of the team. Um, another guy I have is Owen Hart. Now, Owen Hart was always great, but the one I remember the most was the two-time Slammy winner. He would come out with Jim Cornette and the British Bulldog. That was an awesome time for Owen Hart. I think that was 95, 96. So that's who I want on the team. Um, also, I'm going to go with The Undertaker on the heel side. Now, at first, the first time I did this video, before I was writing shit down, I thought about putting him on the babyface side, and then I was like, why? My favorite time in The Undertaker's entire career was the Ministry of Darkness. I always liked Undertaker. Gray gloves, purple gloves, Phantom of the Opera mask, all that shit. But when he was with the Ministry of Darkness, that was Awesome! I loved those Raws. You never knew what the hell was going to happen. There was that episode where they were backstage like beating Christian <laughs> and all types of random stuff. Midian and uh, Viscera, the Acolytes. It was really cool. So definitely Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. Another guy I'm going to put is Shawn Michaels. When he was a heel, um, right around the start of the Generation X. They were feuding with the Hart Foundation. Hart Foundation were kind of tweeners at that point, but I was a huge Bret Hart fan, and Shawn Michaels was definitely the heel there. And then they started feuding with Austin, and I just thought Shawn Michaels was doing amazing stuff as a heel, even with the back problems. He was great. So definitely have to put heel Shawn Michaels in this match. And my last pick is Scott Hall, Preferably the one from last year. <laughs> no, obviously I'm talking about the WCW Scott Hall when he was with the Outsiders, and or when they were the Outsiders with Kevin Nash. And Scott Hall was awesome, man. He was another one of those guys that could just go out there. He can do a great match. He brings a lot to it. And the fans just wanted to see Scott Hall. I was going to go with Razor Ramon, but I think I'm already happy with my babyface side, so I'm just going to go with Scott Hall as a heel for this team to finish it out. Now, it's tough to pick these names because there's so many great wrestlers out there like Santino Morella, the great Kali, and it's hard to pick just five on each side. Um, but th this, I think, would be a really fun match here and would just be super badass to watch. Um, now, as far as the order of elimination goes, for the baby faces, you can't even say Hogan, number one. Because even for a fantasy video, it's just too unbelievable to think that he would allow that to happen. There is no way in hell Hogan would stand for that. He would fight tooth and nail um, to make sure he's one of the last guys on the team, if not the winner. So even for a fantasy video, I can't make that happen. Um, but I would... I would think that Warrior would go out first, just because he's gonna get he's gonna get blown up, and there's no point in keeping him around for a really long time, anyways, because a lot of the Ultimate Warriors, you know, is his intro, and once that's gone, he hits his moves, he'll gorilla press somebody. Um, even though it will be awesome to have Warrior in this match, don't get me wrong. I don't think he needs to be around that long when you have other guys in the match that can go, like Kurt Angle. But I do see Warrior leaving first. And of course the heels are always going to have to have the upper hand to get the heat, so they're always going to have more people than the baby faces. So Warrior's out first. Then I would have DDP get taken out. And you're left with Austin, Angle, and Hogan. Austin and Angle are going to be working. Well, actually, I'm talking about old school Hogan, so that wouldn't even be necessary. Hogan can still go. All these guys can go. This is like prime stuff here. So you got Austin, Angle, and Hogan for the baby faces. Um, Owen Hart's out first. Scott Hall out. You're, you got Sid, Taker, and Shawn Michaels. Um, Sid and Taker, both big guys, so you don't really need both of them in there. And I would have Sid out next. So you have Taker and Shawn Michaels. Um, Angle's out. And then, I guess because Taker's the heel, 
he wouldn't want to be the last man standing because that wouldn't look good. So I would keep Sid, Taker, and Michaels together against Austin, Angle, and Hogan. Eliminate Angle. Start to work over Austin. Hogan gets the tag. He's hawking up here. And he eliminates Sid. He eliminates Taker. Shawn Michaels hits him with Sweet Chin Music. Eliminates Hogan. Steve Austin versus Shawn Michaels is the last two guys. They're wrestling. They get about, um, I don't know, three, four more minutes. And Steve Austin gets the win. Because you want everybody to go home happy. So that's what I would have happen here with this match. And that would, that's it. That's my fantasy Survivor Series match. That's exactly how it would go. Um, just off the top of my head here. And there are some other guys I would like to put in the match. I thought about putting Raven in. But it doesn't, I mean, I like Raven. I liked his WCW work a lot, his ECW work, before he went to WCW. And it just, you can't, it doesn't make sense. It, do, it wouldn't look right to have Raven, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, Sid, Owen Hart, um, like guys like that. It just, it wouldn't look right, I think. So, yeah, those are the names I would go with, but... Like I said earlier, I think it's it would be awesome to read some of your guys' picks for who you would put in a traditional 5-on-5 five -five Survivor Series match. And, of course, I will be back later on today with my review of Survivor Series 2012. Hopefully, the show delivers. I'm not really looking forward to this one just because the build has been pretty weak so far. A lot of matches are just tacked on, and I don't really see anything major happening on this show, but... Who knows? Hopefully Survivor Series is good this year. So anyways, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye.